from Chandigarh and Amritsar mm. is also not so far. So, mm. uh, yeah. And one thing, do you know, uh, here, fashion, uh, people have good fashion sense. You know, mm. when I first visited Chandigarh, uh, those who are 50 year old women, she was very mm. fit. Like, she go to gym, she go for mm. uh, running daily in morning. Like, they are very fit and slim. Uh, no mm-hmm. one, you will see, uh, you know, especially girls uh, of Chandigarh, if you know, uh, they are very, look very attractive and very beautiful. I don't mm-hmm. know uh, what's the reason, but uh, here uh, they are very advanced in fashion since. Uh, when mm-hmm. I came here first time, I was very, uh, you know, I was very, I was very simple person, but now I, I got- feel like uh, I should look little attractive. I, I join gym and I work on my uh, everything. Uh, yeah. But there is no doubt you look attractive and you are handsome also. <laughs> but you <laughs> yeah, really, yes, your personality is good. There is no doubt. And you are living in a, you know, among those people like who always care their uh, body. So they maintain their bodies. So yes, you know, so surrounding matters a lot. Like in which area you live. So if you see that in your, that locality, how people are treating, how they are doing. Hi, how are you, Anjana? <laughs> I'm well. What about you? Yeah, I am good too. Thank you for asking. So uh, before we start, could you introduce yourself a little bit? Yeah, sure. First of all, thank you very much for taking time out today because uh, we wanted to connect yeah one day earlier but yes. uh, i didn't get chance and so we are connecting today so i am very thankful to you uh now i would like to tell about myself i am anjana and i am connecting to you from up district farukhabad i am originally from kanpur and i completed my whole education from kanpur and yeah. if I talk about my hobbies, so I love teaching. Teaching is my passion. And uh, I love listening to music. Apart from that, I run a YouTube channel. Yeah. Its name is Anjana Educational Videos. And I'm a very amiable person and hardworking also. That's it. Yeah, that was a lovely introduction. Uh, so uh, shall I also introduce, right? Yeah, sure. Yes. So, uh, my name is Utpal and I am from Bihar, basically, currently living in Chandigarh from two years onwards and I am pursuing Bachelor's of Engineering uh, from mm-hmm. here, Punjab. My college name is Punjab University and uh, mm-hmm. I am a YouTuber. Uh, my channel name is Bihar English and if I will talk about my interest, uh, I love to play badminton. I love to work on my fitness as well. Uh, like go to gym uh, often. Yeah, that's it. That's all about me. Okay, wow. I'm glad to know about you that you are talking to me from Chandigarh. And uh, I, if I talk about Chandigarh, so I have heard many times that it's very clean city, right? Yes, yes. It's a yes. very clean and oriented city, you can say, and very green mm-hmm. also. It's mm. very beautiful. I have been in Punjab many times, but I never got chance to go Chandigarh. Only I went to uh, Amritsar and Jalandhar because my father used to live in Jalandhar. Okay. That's why. You mm. have been to uh, Jalandhar, but you, you, uh, you have not been to Chandigarh. Why, why so that? You should be. Actually, you know... Yes, actually, you know, uh, in Jalandhar, like my father used to live, you know, so I got chance to go there many times. And uh, I went to Amritsar for, you know, uh, visiting purpose, uh, like, uh, you know, Golden Temple and Jaliawala Vak. So, uh, but we never decided to go Chandigarh. But I know very well because uh, my father's uncle used to live there in Chandigarh. So he used to go there, but I never visited there. But today I am connecting to you, so I would like to know more about your city. Like, uh, why people always uh, praise about Chandigarh that it's very clean city. So I would like to know from you. Yeah, I think uh, 
the name itself uh, is uh, the city beautiful uh, chandigarh uh, have full name the city the city beautiful and uh, is it uh, sorry uh, it's like uh, it's first of all it's very gre green and the second thing uh, british has has especially designed this city like uh, suppose uh, hospital should be at one place like although mm -hmm. there are one or two hospital here and there but uh, they they had tried to orient uh, same like uh, one place same thing suppose a uh, schools are at uh, uh, colleges are at uh, one place so they okay. had oriented little bit and every society like suppose uh, chandigarh divided into sectors so every society there is a park uh, for mm -hmm. suppose you are a lady you uh, uh, you want to walk a little uh, after mm -hmm. in evening or after evening in night after having dinner you want to walk so there is a park and uh, there are equipments also for exercises and all mm. uh, and uh, uh, if you will uh, move on uh, like uh, road there is is uh, for cycling there is a special uh, path for cycling and uh, traffic rule are very strict strict here mm. like uh, they strictly follow traffic rule suppose in bihar or in other city what we uh, uh, we do we always uh, cross our bike uh, from zebra crossing and we park mm. uh, always at light but here if you will cross a little bit even they will uh, mm. charge you fine automatically from camera so wow. here uh, rule regarding cleanliness and uh, discipline is little strict that's why this is mm. a little clean uh, and uh, yes. very uh, beautiful mm -hmm. yes yeah, i agree with you because i i can say that you know rules regulation matters a lot like you are telling about you know park i have seen park in my up so you know people don't care about cleanliness if they are eating something so they are you know if there are you know dustbin yes. okay they are not going to throw in dustbin you know where they are sitting just they are eating and they are throwing so these yes, are all yes. the reasons uh you know like uh, they are uh, throwing they, things here and there they're litter, they litter anywhere they, like anywhere. they, they mm. want uh, uh, they don't uh, uh, do this thing but you know uh, uh, small things like uh, a dustbin at uh, every uh, half kilometer mm. or some uh, area they put they have put dustbins here so that public mm. uh, will uh, throw uh, you also know uh, there is dust in why i am throwing here in the road mm. so it, mm. so these kind of things uh, comes in our mind when we try to throw even on road uh, mm. because uh, dust bin is available nearby why why don't we throw in dust bin in proper place and other thing that i would like to say one thing about uh, it is not crowded city uh, especially chandigarh is uh, not crowded uh, like delhi or other city compared to it is very uh, chandigarh have i don't know why it, it have very much space like uh, uh, suppose i i will talk about my hostel room uh, if if you go outside my hostel there is very much space there are very much green trees are around uh, my hostel they have planted uh, in a oriented manner not like uh, they have grown itself but uh, yeah. they have planted in a manner it looks uh, mm -hmm. good also it give positive i when we see plants and all yes. that's why uh, here not uh, you will not find very tall building like 15 or 16 mm -hmm. uh, uh, floors but you will find very little building uh, very little houses but with good uh, like uh, in uh, advanced type houses like yeah, comfortable or luxurious houses mm -hmm. yes. i have seen in jalandhar also where my father used to live so i have seen that each and every building is different their structure was really you know very different and unique yes it attracts a lot yeah we i never found yes. i never find in my locality <laughs> i live in a very little city at so, parkawa city so you understand yes. that you can understand that uh, you know little little houses we have 
and just congested even where i live you know i have very narrow street it's look like i am getting into a in any house it's like that <laughs> yeah so yes. whenever i get chance to uh, jalandhar so i feel very calm and vibes are also good there you know yes yes mm-hmm. uh, jalandhar is very near from chandigarh and amritsar mm-hmm. is also not so far so mm-hmm. uh, yeah and one thing do you know uh, here fashion uh, people have good fashion sense you know mm-hmm. when i first visited chandigarh uh, those who are 50 year old women she was very mm-hmm. fit like she go to gym she go for uh, running daily in morning like they are very fit and slim uh no mm-hmm. one you will see uh, you know especially girls uh of chandigarh if you know uh they are very, look very attractive and very beautiful i don't mm. know uh, what's the reason but uh, here uh, they are very advanced in fashion since uh, when mm. i came here first time i was very uh, you know i was very i was very simple person but now i, I but... feel like uh, i should look little attractive I I join gym and I work on my uh, everything, uh, yeah. But there is no doubt you look attractive and you are handsome also. <laughs> But you, <laughs> yeah, really, yes, your personality is good. There is no doubt, and you are living in a you know among those people like who always care their. Uh, body, so they maintain their bodies. So yes, you know, so surrounding matters a lot. like in which area you live so if you see that in your, that locality how people are treating how they are doing work how they are active in their work so you know these all things uh, we get energy that we should be have like this we should be like that yeah, yeah? yeah. it happens we get influence That's from them uh, like we should also a little focus mm. otherwise they otherwise they will uh, feel a uh, little uncomfortable with us and Uh, sure, that's sure. why uh, and you know uh, of uh, one girl, girl from bihar she had came here first time uh, like uh, she was in my class she was she was uh, looking very that time she she was looking very ugly uh, but uh, he understood uh, things uh, uh, what hmm. people follow she uh, she changed herself Uh, uh and now she look decent like not look like uh, ugly or something mm-hmm. yeah she have changed much i i yes, always sir. told her uh, uh, and she told me please uh, like nazar mat <laughs> this kind of yes thing. yes so, that's it <laughs> yeah she she is like my yeah she is like my sister uh, mm. uh, i always uh, appreciate her hmm because you know it is said that jaisa desh waisa bhesh so we should follow we should follow otherwise you know we also feel uncomfortable and others also feel uncomfortable you know so that's yes. why we should you know understand that uh, where are we and how should we uh, react here yeah so that's why yeah, i think you are learning english also because in chandigarh you know most of the people are educated and they uh, talk in english and punjabi you know yeah when mm-hmm. i go to malls or you know uh shop for little mm-hmm. uh you can say grocery or something uh they they like uh, they talk to their kids don't go there don't uh, touch anything mm-hmm. they i feel like same like what mm-hmm. i am not able to speak a single word and they are mm-hmm. uh, speaking so much even child is little uh six year old or Eight year old child is speaking so much mm-hmm. uh, English, and I am not able to speak. So, what is anything? Very good. Very good. Yeah. Very very good. You know, I am proud of you that you understand value of all things. Actually, what happened that it it doesn't matter that you don't know any language. Okay, no matter, right? Because we are born like open handed. We know nothing. and when we born after that we uh, you know look our surroundings after that we learn gradually so in the same way you are living in you are living in a very good locality so yes you should learn that languages because it's important for you and you are doing engineer engineering right 
so it's yes, crucial for you it this language is crucial for you so that's very good yes, that yes, you are learning right. and so now i have one question for you that uh, i would like to know that uh, only are you practicing on skype group otherwise you have any specific tutor that you are following you are taking guideline like this uh no 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 currently i don't have such uh, tutors or any but uh, i follow these things uh, mainly that uh, even I, i am watching something suppose i am watching uh, 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 some contents on youtube so i try mm-hmm. to watch uh, experienced people who who have good english mm-hmm. knowledge who, who are yes. speaking of uh, perfect english they, they are not making uh, many mistakes mm-hmm. or even uh very they are yeah. making mistakes everyone making make mistakes but they are uh making very little even i will get that much fluency i will be happy mm-hmm. uh so in order to uh getting that fluency i only uh, watch little experienced people talented people i only watch okay. otherwise i don't watch uh, random videos which are uh, floating okay. on my youtube many youtubers uh, always uh, ask me please subscribe my channel i i subscribe sometimes uh, because yeah of course you have to uh, i uh, they are my friends also uh, suppose you are talking to me anyone is talking to me they are my friends and i and uh, it's my duty to fulfill their one or two choice you know uh, what we can say choices so i subscribe and sometimes i watch uh i of course sometimes i watch which i feel uh they are speaking good or it's good mm-hmm. content i should watch but uh i want to watch quality content very good very good you are saying right because we are learner okay so as much as good information we have in our mind so we will be able to output right so that's very good that you are learning english and you are you know you want to watch only quality content because it's important for us and that is how we can learn a lot and we would be able to express our ideas like you know in that in that way because it's a language so as much as we listen we can grab all the things very easily yes 